I'm Daniel Foley from the Divine Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily communion meditation, where today we're talking about walking by the Spirit. So Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, it says, So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh craves what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They're opposed to each other, so that you do not do what you want. But if you're led by the Spirit, you're not under the law. And so this month in June of 2023, our message is walking in God's best today. We've been talking about walking with God. And part of walking with God is walking by the Spirit. Now, it's an interesting thing here. You look at this verse. If you walk by the Spirit, you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So by focusing on what is good, focusing on what is right, it gives you the willpower. It gives you the discipline to not do those other things that you're trying to stop yourself from doing. Whereas when we try to focus on those things, we try to eliminate them, we try to discipline ourselves. We often lack the power to carry it out. So look at what it says here. They're opposed to each other so that you do not do what you want. But if you're led by the Spirit, you're not under the law. And so we're going to be taking communion over this today. Asking God to help us to walk by the Spirit in the way that He desires. But let's get started with our daily prayer. And then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear Son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed. Also, that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more. That the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. And to make your face shine upon us, let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us so that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal and do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, Father, we're asking for your help today. Help us to walk by the Spirit the way that you desire us to, so that we do not gratify the desires of the flesh And that we're not under the law, Lord. That we can do those things that we want to do. We can have that power to walk out those things that are good and right and best in your eyes. And we think in the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and said, this is my body, broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. He laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes we've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by you, smitten by you, so that we could be right and holy and perfect in your sight, all through his one sacrifice. And you raised him up from the dead, and you seated him at your right hand, and you raised us up together with him and made us sit together with him. And we get this opportunity today to remember our union with you through the sacrifice of Jesus. And so I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our bread.
that after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that released us from darkness and transferred us into the light. We get to have this covenant relationship with you, Father. And so I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. So after our time of communion, we usually talk about some health and fitness tips. Because I think physical fitness is meant to teach us how to exercise our faith. So just a reminder today, go for walks with God. Just get out, go for a walk with him, walk in the spirit, walk with him, pray with him consistently every day.